Jenny at Clover and Violet here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own bias tape. This is a little bit different than binding because it is cut on the bias on a 45 degree angle so that it bends and curves nicely around the curved edges of your project. This is perfect for binding sewing cases or quilts, and it's a lot easier than you think. So let's get started. All right, so you're going to start with your perfectly square piece of fabric. This is an 18 by 18 square um, cut off of a fat quarter. That's my preferred size for making bias tape. You can make your bias tape using a smaller square, but then you're gonna have a lot more seams. So I like to just use one fat quarter, make bias tape, and then use it for more than one project. Um, so you're gonna take, you can see this diagonal line. We're gonna fold it on the diagonal. All right, and then you're gonna fold it on the diagonal again in half, okay? So now you have four raw edges, two folds, and then one fold here. This single fold is gonna be your cutting line. So rotate your fabric if you need to, and you're gonna take your ruler, and I am making half inch bias tape. So it's gonna be folded twice, so that's gonna be a two inch cut. My bias tape maker actually calls for um, one and seven eighths inches, but I'm gonna make my first cut at two inches because there's this fold. And then I'm going to make the rest of the cuts at one and seven eighths, and I'm going to go back and cut off one eighth of an inch of that fold. You can cut down the fold, but I think it just works neater, in my opinion, for me if I just trim that fold right off. So we've got one and seven eighths here, and I'm just going to keep on cutting right down these triangles. all of them at one and seven eighths. And if you're using um, a smaller piece, you'll want to go all the way to the end, but I usually stop after these five and then just discard these squares or use them as scraps for something. Um, so let me turn this one around, trim it also, they're all the same. Right. All right, and then I'm just gonna take these to the sewing machine and right sides together you will um, line them up like so, so that your corners hang over a little bit and we're gonna sew along that line. Then when they open up, it will be perfect bias tape and I'll bring you back and show you when I finish that. All right, so now I've chain sewn all these binding pieces together. I'm just gonna clip them apart into one long, I'll have one long strip. And then I like to press open all of my seams um, just to reduce a little bit of bulk um, when sewing the bias on, especially I always seem to get like a seam at the corner. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna press open my corners and then let's go down to the next piece. So when you press the seams open, you then have to trim these little points off. So I'm just going to go along and press all of my seams open and trim all my corners. Now that we've ironed all of our seams and trimmed all our corners, I'm going to take my bias tape maker. This is a Clover number 25. It's going to make half inch double fold binding or one inch um, bias tape. So I'm going to feed my binding, my bias, into the bias tape maker 
until it starts coming out this end. Just kind of pull it to get it nice and straight. Then bring my iron over here. And just pull it along. I'm just going to iron it like this all the way down the whole length. So again, you just pull it along. The bias tape maker does get warm from the heat transfer from the iron. So that's why it has this little handle on top to pull it. We're just going to fold it again down that middle line. And again, you're going to repeat that for the whole length of the bias. And then when you go to sew it on, when you open it, you'll have all these neat lines. It will be perfect um, for lining up and sewing on your bias tape. One quick thing to note also is that when you are feeding the bias tape through your bias tape maker, be very careful not to stretch the bias because since it's cut on the bias, it will stretch easily and distort. Also, if you have trouble with your open seams, just make sure that they're open all the way when you feed them into your bias tape maker. Um, I am using a little pair of scissors, but if you have a stiletto or something like that, that would also work well just to keep those seams open instead of pushing towards one side. All right, I'm just going to iron the rest of this bias tape. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you, and thanks for watching. Happy sewing!